if you're looking for a cool puff stitch slouchy beanie, then you've come to the right place. I'm Little John Yarns, and today we're working on a pattern suggested by one of our fellow yarnies, Kimberly Ryan. The hat is created using puff stitches and a super easy flip brim created using single crochets. So let's hop into the pattern breakdown. To make this pattern easy to follow, I break it into three sections. The crown, which is created using increasing rows. Next, we'll stop increasing the rows to work on the sides of the hat. And lastly, we'll work on the brim, which is worked in back and forth rows. You can download the written pattern. The information will be down in the description box below. We'll be using two skeins of red heart yarn and a four millimeter and a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. In all my tutorials, I provide you with timestamps for easy pattern navigation. We're going to start by using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, and we're going to begin by making a chain of four. So we'll start with our slip knot, then chain four. One, two, three, and four. We're going to slip stitch into the very first chain to form a ring. Once you have your ring, we're going to chain one and we're going to begin our very first puff stitch. To do a puff stitch, you're going to yarn over and go into the ring three times. So yarn over, go into the ring, that's one. Yarn over, go back into the ring, that's two. Yarn over, go back into the ring, and that's three. You should have seven loops on your hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to yarn over and pull through all seven loops on your hook. And to secure your puff stitch, we're going to chain one. So that is your very first puff. We're going to do that six more times for a total of seven puffs. I'll show you the puff stitch one more time. So yarn over, go into this um, loop. One, yarn over, go back into the same ring. Two, yarn over, go back into the same ring and three. You should have seven loops on your hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through all seven loops on your hook. Whoop, lost my stitch. Let's try that one more time. Yarn over, one, yarn over, two, yarn over, three, seven loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all seven loops on your hook and chain one to secure. All right, you can pause your video here, continue placing a total of seven puff stitches into the ring, and I'll meet you at the other side. We've made it back around, and you should have a total of seven puff stitches, and now we're going to slip stitch to join into the very first puff stitch. And slip stitch. If you're following along to the video, I mean to the written pattern, we are on round two. So we're going to chain one. And we're going to start our puff stitch again. For these puff stitches, so your stitches, I mean your rows won't be very pronounced, I want you to yarn over and kind of go into the stitch right behind your work. Not here, but in this stitch right here. That helps alleviate that ugly seam mark on your hat. So we'll go in three times. So that's one, two, three, seven loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through all seven loops on your hook and chain one to secure. We're going to place another puff stitch into the very same stitch. So let's do our puff stitch, yarn over, go in one, yarn over, two, yarn over, three, yarn over, pull through all loops on your hook and chain one to secure. We're going to place two puff stitches in every single chain one space all the way around. So I'll show you one more time. Find your chain one space in between your puffs. Sometimes it can be very hard to find, but there's your chain one space. And we're going to place two puffs into that chain one space. So one, two, and three. Pull through all your loops. Chain one is secure. Another puff stitch into the very same space. One, two, and three, yarn over, pull through all your loops, chain one to secure. 
That's going to be our pattern repeat all the way around. We're going to place two puff stitches in the previous row single, I mean, <clears throat> in the previous rows chain one space all the way around. So pause your video here and I'll meet you at the other side. Okay, we made it to the very end of this row and you should have a total of 14 puff stitches for row two. And now we're going to slip stitch into the very first puff stitch. and chain one. We're going to begin by placing a puff stitch. Remember, yarn over and kind of go behind your work right here. That alleviates that ugly seam on your hat. So that's one, two, three for your puff stitch. Yarn over, pull through all your loops. My hook seems to be catching. There we go and chain one to secure. And in your next stitch, <clears throat> excuse me, in your next stitch, you're gonna place two puff stitches into the very same space. So let's do your first puff stitch. Okay, that's puff stitch number one. Let's go back into the very same space. Okay, and that is going to be our pattern sequence all the way around. You're going to place one puff stitch in the next and two puff stitches into the very next space all the way around. So remember, one puff stitch into the next, two into the next stitch. So pause your video here and repeat that pattern sequence all the way around and I'll meet you at the other side. We've made it back around and you should have a total of 21 puff stitches. So now, once again, we're going to slip stitch into the very first puff stitch. All right, now we're gonna chain one. Our pattern sequence is gonna be one puff stitch into the next two stitches, followed by an increase into the next. If you're paying attention, you'll notice the increases are gonna be on every single row's previous row's increase, if that makes sense. So let's begin with a puff stitch. We'll go in three times. One, two, three, Yarn over, pull through all your loops on a hook. Chain one to secure. So that's your first puff. Your next puff into the very next stitch. One, two, three. Yarn over, pull through all your loops on a hook. Chain one to secure. And on your third stitch on the previous row's increase, we're gonna place another increase. So let's do that. One, two, and three, yarn over, pull through all your loops on a hook. Chain one to secure, and we're gonna puff stitch it back into the very same space. One, two, and three. Yarn over and secure. That is gonna be our pattern sequence all the way around. We're gonna place one puff stitch into the next two stitches, one, two, then increase on a third. One puff stitch into the next two stitches. One, two, increase on a third. Remember, you're gonna increase on a previous row's increase. So pause your video here and I'll meet you back at the other side. Okay, we've made it back around and you should have a total of 28 puff stitches. And now we're doing our last increase row. We're gonna slip stitch to join into the very first puff stitch. Okay, and our pattern is going to be puff stitch, one puff stitch into the next three stitches and increase on the fourth. So we're going to chain one. Let's start that pattern repeat. So yarn over, let's begin our very first puff. One, two, three, yarn over, pull through all your loops on a hook, chain one to secure. That's your first puff. Let's do the rest. One, two, three, yarn over, 
pull through all your loops on a hook. Oops, I got a little snag. One, two, and three. Yarn over and chain one to secure. That's puff number two. And let's do your third puff. One, two, three. Yarn over. Chain one to secure. And on your very fourth stitch, we're going to place an increase on the previous row's increase. So let's place two puff stitches into this chain one space. One, two, three, yarn over, pull through all your loops, chain one secure, and we're going to puff stitch back into the very same space. One, two, and three. Yarn over, pull through all seven loops, chain one to secure. So that is going to be our pattern repeat all the way around. So one puff stitch into the next three stitches, one, two, three, increase on the fourth. One puff stitch into the next three stitches, one, two, three, increase on the fourth. The previous rows increase. So pause your video here and I'll meet you at the other side. We've just completed row five and you should have a total of 35 puff stitches in that last row. Now we're going to slip stitch to join as before into the very first puff stitch. And chain one. Your next 14 rows are going to be exactly the same. You're going to place one puff stitch in each stitch all the way around. We're completely done increasing. I'll work the first couple with you. So let's do our very first puff stitch. One two, three, yarn over, pull through all your loops, chain one to secure. Go into the next stitch, do your puff, one, two, and three, yarn over, pull through all your loops on a hook, and chain one to secure. So that's going to be your pattern repeat all the way around, so place one puff stitch in each stitch around and when you make it back to the other side you're just going to slip stitch to slip stitch to join you're going to do that for a total of 14 rows including this one so pause your video here and i'll meet you at the completion of 14 rows for a less slouchy hat use only 10 rows for a more slouchy hat use 14. this will be perfect for somebody with a lot of hair or dreadlocks we've finished our 14th row and this is what our work looks like so far now we're going to drop down to a four millimeter crochet hook. Next, we're just going to single crochet in each stitch. So we're going to chain one, single crochet into the same stitch, and single crochet into the space. Single crochet into the top of your puff. and single crochet into the space. I'll show you one more time. Single crochet into the top of your puff and single crochet into the space. You're going to repeat this sequence all the way around and slip this to join when you get to the other side. You'll have a total of 70 single crochets. You're going to do this for a total of four rows including this one. So pause your video here and I'll meet you at the completion of your four rows of single crochets. We've just completed our four rows of single crochet and before we slip this to join into the very first single crochet, we're going to add a second piece of yarn. To do so, we're going to start um, your slip stitch to join as normal. Insert your needle into the stitch. Yarn over, pull over your new yarn, and add your second yarn with it. So you have two strands on your hook. Pull both of those strands through. And now you're ready to work with two strands of yarn. Chain one. We're going to single crochet into the very same stitch. Because your chain one does not count as a stitch. 
All right, and including this stitch, we're gonna single crochet into 55 stitches. So this is one. Continue placing one single crochet into the next 55 stitches. So pause your video here, and I'll meet you when you're done with your 55 single crochets. We've completed our 55 single crochets. And for our next row, we're just gonna chain one and turn your work. We're gonna single crochet into the very same stitch. And we're gonna single crochet in each stitch all the way across. We're gonna repeat this row for an additional five more rows. So you can pause your video here and continue placing one single crochet in each stitch for an additional five rows, including this one. Once you make it to the very end, you're just gonna cut your work and fasten off. And now we're just gonna attach the buttons. Right now, what you're looking at is the bottom brim of your hat, those um, several rows of single crochets that we made. So what we're gonna do, let's turn it on its side. We are going to flip the corner up like so and attach the button. The button is not a functioning button. This will be um, just for appearance reasons. So you're gonna flip the corner up and sew it on to the front and also sew it onto the back like this. So the corner will be flipped up. I'll show you what it looks like on the other side because I already have it sewed on. So here's the other side. It's sewed on the front and into the back. Like I said, it's not a functioning button. It's just for appearance reasons. So pause your video here. Continue adding on your button. Like I said, just flip up the corner and add the button. And I'll show you what it looks like all done. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and check out my other crochet hat patterns. Okay guys, I'll see you all on the very next pattern.